Universe Trillion Theory My YouTube channel is called Universe New Trillion Theory. This is the Discoveries video in the Trillion Theory series. Trillion Theories 20 Biggest Cosmic Discoveries Welcome to Trillion Theory. I'm Canadian theorist, pen name Ed Luke. Trillion Theory, as a new universe theory, unveils its 20 incredible cosmic discoveries. Trillion Theory, discovery number one. Black holes spin light into matter. Black holes are incredible entities. They capture light for the specific purpose of spinning it into matter. Light approaching a black hole bends and slows, making its last cries for help before it vanishes. The black hole spins the light into atoms of matter. Discovery number two, black holes build cosmic spheres. A black hole vigorously captures light, spinning that light into matter to erect a spheroid of matter around itself. Discovery number three, black hole cloaks inside its sphere. After a black hole spins enough light into matter, it resides hidden for billions of years inside the sphere it built. There's a cloaked black hole inside of our Earth, our Moon, and our Sun. Discovery number four, black holes supply spin and gravity. A black hole provides actual spin and gravity to the sphere it occupies. Trillion theory discovery number five says that there is a small black hole at the core of every planet and moon, and a larger black hole inside of the sun centering the solar system, and a supermassive black hole at the hub of every galaxy. Discovery number six, black holes by the quadrillions. Black holes are visibly naked during their light heating phase, but quadrillions more black holes are in their hidden phase inside the orb they built. Quadrillions of black holes work the cosmos, as supermassive controls an entire galaxy, while smaller black holes supply rotation and gravity to suns, planets, and moons. Discovery number seven. Black holes also have a reverse process. After billions of years of control of its sphere, a black hole weakens its hold, unraveling held matter back to light. This internal pressure from Earth's cloaked black hole has been responsible for all volcanoes, mountain ranges pushed upwards, continental drift, and long-term climate changes. Trillion theory says this about what black holes can do. Light captured is spun into matter, Light is trapped for billions of years. Light escapes after billions of years. Trillion Theory proclaims number eight, light always escapes the black hole. It just takes billions of years. Scientists wrongly state, light eaten by a black hole is trapped forever. Here's a new key to black holes. Astronomers proclaim nothing can escape a black hole. Stephen Hawking recanted saying, radiation escapes. Trillion theory states, light trapped by a black hole always escapes. It just takes billions of years. Follow the process. A naked black hole eats till full, cloaked inside the sphere it built. But after billions of years, that cloaked black hole weakens, losing its matter which escapes back to light. Volcanoes example this process, and suns, and a supernova whose black hole uncloaks back to naked to build a new sphere. Number nine, phases in one 15 billion year cycle of a black hole inside of a sphere. Build, fast spinning black hole rapidly captures light, spinning it into matter, building a sphere around itself. Control, the black hole cloaked and loaded with matter slows its actual spin to control its cosmic sphere for up to 15 billion year limit. Weaken, cloaked black hole eventually weakens its control over its matter. The black hole inside of a sun spun the loosest atoms. The end cycle, supernova ends the life of any sphere in that solar system, but all the black holes survive to fight for light to build the next sphere. Discovery number 10, a sun's black hole is the first in a solar system to lose matter back to light because this black hole ate light too fast and spun looser atoms. Discovery 11, supernova is a super key event exposing the black hole inside a sun plus those inside the solar system's spheres. 
Discovery 12, a black hole already inside the sun. A black hole does not result from a supernova exploding and then imploding. The black hole was always inside the star, dating back to the star's birth. Discovery 13, a black hole can't be destroyed. Even with the supernova, the black hole which was inside of the sun survives the blast. As does each black hole inside a solar system, planet, or moon. Each black hole gets naked for its next round of eating light to build a new sphere. Discovery 14, replication by black holes makes cosmos grow ever larger. A black hole already inside the star it built survives a supernova, splitting and replicating into two new twin naked black holes. Trillion Theory says, a sun's black hole always survives a powerful supernova, yet the powerful backlash splits the black hole into two, replicating it into two binary black holes. Backlash from the supernova splits the surviving black hole into two twins. The two twins could end up as binary black holes so that their new larger solar system has two suns, or the supernova could blast the twins far apart so that each will center its own solar system. Discovery number 15. Solar systems result from a battle between black holes, and then they operate as a cooperative between black holes. After a supernova, all the surviving naked black holes battle for light to build their next orb. Their gravity size gains them a position in a new solar system. The future sun, the largest black hole, deploys its powerful gravity, becoming the new solar system's central sphere. Mid-sized black holes use their gravity to hold smaller black holes as moons. The largest black hole did flash eating of light, meaning it spun the very loosest of matter. Thus, the largest black hole, coaxed by pull from the other orbs, easily loses control of its flash matter, unraveling matter back to light. It fulfills its destiny of being a sun of this new solar system. In a solar system, the largest black hole centering the sun did flash eating of light, spinning the loosest of atoms, which later easily unravel as light from the new sun. Mid-sized black holes spun semi-loose matter. Thus, these spheres became large gaseous planets. The smallest black holes, losers of the battle for light, took more time to spin their tight, dense atoms. These smaller planets are hard-surfaced. Our cosmos is a growing entity. Solar systems last less than 15 billion years, but the galaxy hotel in which they reside can be hundreds of billions of years old. Cosmos began small, but over eons grew into ginormous galaxies because of the replication abilities of black holes after a supernova occurred. Trillion theory shows how our universe repeats itself all across the cosmos. It grows and expands, self-perpetuating by recycling its solar systems inside of humongous ancient galaxies. Could astronomers be misreading what they see? Trillion theory estimates our ancient cosmos at a trillion years. Trillion theory discovery number 17, our cosmos is a trillion years old. One black hole replicating or doubling to the power of 66 gives us 70 quadrillion stars in our present cosmos. So 66 generations, each generation lasting about 15 billion years is equal to a trillion years. In a trillion year cosmos, it took the first 50 billion years for cosmic growth to form the early galaxies. Today, billions of galaxies are host hotels to quadrillions of solar systems. Trillion theory discovery number 18. The supermassive black hole at the hub of a galaxy may be 950 billion years old. All the galaxies, suns, and solar systems have age limits of 10 to 15 billion years, whereupon they recycle into new solar systems. A small naked black hole eats light to build a sphere around itself. It then operates from its cloak position inside of the sphere. A much higher evolved supermassive black hole does not eat light to build a sphere around itself. It stays naked so it can control an entire galaxy of solar systems. A supermassive black hole evolves by adjusting its internals. This gains its permanency at the hub of a galaxy. A supermassive widens its spiral helix to jettison light out its poles. This way it can still consume light, but not spin it into matter which would force it to build a sphere around itself. 
a supermass of pulled suns inward, gobbling their light, yet pluming it out its poles. It has clearly adapted its skills, which gain a permanent command of its galaxy for hundreds of billions of years. Trillion Theory Discovery 19, Cosmic Origin and Space. Space, the final frontier. What is space? Most might say that space is the emptiness that a Big Bang exploded into. But Trillion Theory says no. Space was that empty void left behind when black holes spun light into orbs. At the cosmic origin, all that existed was an ocean of frozen light. The first black hole broke away frozen strands. It quickly devoured any free light, spinning it into matter around itself. The ratio of emptiness dwarfed the small size of the orb built by the black hole. Within the light ocean, a vacated empty space surrounded the black hole. Today, there exists a vastness to space. Proportionally, when a black hole spins light in the matter, the orbit builds is only a millionth the size of the vast empty space cavern its actions create. Ratio of the sphere to space. Look out at the night sky. You will see gravity stations where light is tightly packed into a dense orb by the black hole residing inside. The orb holds the trapped light's weight and heat. Left out in the cold is the surrounding weightless void called space, millions of times faster than the orb. Black holes are cosmic worker bees. At the far edges of the cosmos, black holes access more ocean light so they can build another sphere. This action further expands the space cavern. It also frees extra light to travel through space for use by new solar systems and galaxies. Trillion Theory Discovery Number 20, Cosmic Rules and Scientific Design. The cosmic laws of trillion theory deal with light, which is the cosmic building material, and black holes, which are the engines of the cosmos. Rules about black hole size. A larger black hole can consume more light to build a bigger sphere. A larger black hole has more gravity to keep more spheres in orbit. A supermassive black hole at a galaxy's hub holds millions of suns and their solar systems in orbit. Trillian theory says there is unimaginable science incredibly taking place inside the black holes of our cosmos. Trillian theory says that there is super science at work in our cosmos. Much more is afoot here than meets the eye. But you say, can Trillian theory be proven? Proof. Could physicists in their lab emulate a black hole by spinning light into matter? Don't blindly accept things. Big Bang is wrong. Its so-called proofs are easily refuted. For example, small galaxies have been exploding with supernova Big Bang force for a trillion years. We shouldn't blindly accept things. Astronomers can be wrong, saying that a black hole results from a supernova that implodes in creating a black hole. Trillian theory says no. It says the black hole was always inside of the star. After supernova, the black hole survives to be naked, regaining ultra-fast spin to eat light from the melting of its planets and moons. This action is an illusion of imploding into a black hole. Trillian theory has five proofs that it predicts will be substantiated in the future. Proof number one for Trillian theory, a graveyard with many black holes. After a supernova, each black hole that was inside a solar system orb survives naked and regains fast spin to eat tons of light to build its orb for a next generation solar system. Proof for Trillian theory will come when astronomers find many black holes after a supernova. The strategic black hole from the old sun uses its size to heat the most light and become the center of the next solar system in its ancient galaxy. Trillian theory calls on astronomers to discover the community of naked black holes that survive a supernova. The $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope will blast into orbit in 2021. Its large mirror will look for the oldest light in the cosmos as it will peer deeper into black holes, hopefully to prove Trillian theory. Proof number two for Trillian theory. To uncover the true age of a supermassive black hole at hundreds of billions of years old. Proof number three for Trillian theory. Someday a black hole will be discovered inside of a cosmic sphere. 
proof of trillion theory. At the moment a sun goes supernova, identify with the black hole that was cloaked inside. Proof number four for trillion theory could occur right in a physics lab. What if we emulate a black hole in a lab? What if light can be coiled into a spin? What if light can be spun to form matter? This would prove the reason that black holes attract and spin light is to forge atoms. Trillion theory calls on physicists to discover how to spin light into atoms to emulate a black hole. In my futuristic sci-fi novel, The Trillionist, a young man built a Quantronics machine to spin light into atoms of valuable pure elements. Proof number five for trillion theory would come from astronomers who photograph a black hole as it splits in two. When a supernova explosion occurs, each surviving black hole of the solar system reacts by splitting into two black holes. Replication by black holes is how the cosmos grows in numbers of spheres, solar systems, and galaxies. Trillion theory calls on astronomers to joint venture with trillion theory to catch a black hole in action as it replicates itself from one into two black holes. This discovery would definitely prove trillion theory. My trillion theory video series is based upon trillion theories seven book series. Be sure to check out my Trillion Theory website at trillionist.com. For more on Trillion Theory, go to the next video in the Trillion Theory series. And the Trillion Theory, the full version, is now available. To take action, share my Trillion Theory videos and click the subscribe button to receive more of my YouTube videos and visit my website, trillionist.com. And thanks for viewing Trillion Theory.